Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Gemini, for your meditative session, you guys got a red rose. I already associate the red, I mean, I think everyone in the world associates the red rose with love. You know, that could be your favorite flower and this could be like confirmation for some of you that this is your reading. But I feel like this is going to be a reading pertaining to love because, you know, we got the red rose and I really feel like someone... It could be someone wanting to approach you or you wanting to approach someone. I could be talking about a masculine, right? Because that's masculine energy. But yeah, that's what I'm getting for your meditative session. Just like the red rose. It could be that someone wants to approach, but let's look more into it. So Gemini, I feel I feel like it's exactly like the meditative session. We were talking about love, right, in the meditative session. And I was like, this is definitely going to be about love because someone's approaching with a rose. And even there, you can see that kind of looks like a rose at the bottom and the love card. So yeah, someone is approaching. Someone is going to approach you, Gemini, or you're trying to approach someone. Pick, pick the energy. I'm going to be saying someone is approaching you, but this could be you. I feel like a masculine energy. So we could either be talking about you, you Gemini, or someone approaching you. But I feel like they see you as the Queen of Cups, right? With this union card. They desire a union with you because they see you as someone who is in... I don't know. It's, it's like the energy that you've been able to give them has always been very loving, right? And maybe you guys had a falling out in the past. Maybe you guys have had issues. But you always approach them, I feel, in a loving way. And I feel like they have noticed that and they want to say thank you. <laughs> Because I get that this masculine energy is dealing with someone who is showing them just how truly beautiful you you are, right? It's making you look so much... I know this sounds kind of like... <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't sound great, but it may you're they're making... This person that they're dealing with is making you look good. You know what I mean? It's making you look good and i feel like you were always very loving to this person i feel like you've shown love to this person right like you you were always very you kept it real with this person but you always were loving about it right it's like you know when someone has something in their mouth and they're walking around with food on their teeth you're just going to be straight up like yo you have something in your teeth right and it's worth saying it because you don't want someone to be embarrassed like walking around with food in your teeth right like that's the vibe i get like even though i feel at times gemini you were a little bit uh, hard to maybe please like it wasn't because you were trying to be you know an ass about it it was because you genuinely deep down cared about this person do you know what I'm saying and you didn't so whatever you pointed out to them I feel like you might have said you know something simple as that like oh I think you have I don't know I, I think this or that and you told them how you felt about a situation and even though it might have been a little brisk uh, you always came from a place of love right and that's what i feel like this person is recognizing now because i feel like there was a time i feel like this is for people who two people who know one another there was a time that this person didn't see it that way they did not see it that way and i feel like it had a lot to do with who they were in the past right the ego card is coming up in reverse so i think they want to let you know that they have been through a really long cycle right with the seven of wands this is someone who is working very very hard and that this this has been very hard for them to maybe get to come to grips with uh like letting this fear or this ego go and 
however whatever form this came for you guys in this relationship it hurt the relationship right it hurt even if this was a friendship it really hurt it because i feel gemini you were always in your power and you were always communicative right i feel like this king of swords could be you uh someone who again says what they have to say and it might not be in the nicest way you know it might not be oh like sugarcoating anything but it's coming from a place of love right it's always coming from a place of love and i think that the, that <laughs> i think that's what this person is realizing about you that you always had them in your heart right you always had their best interests at heart even though sometimes what you had to say isn't what necessarily someone wants to hear it's the truth right it's the truth and you're only there to help this person so i feel like this pe this person might have felt like you were saying something you know oh you're like it, it offended them in a sense or it made them feel but i feel like maybe we're dealing with someone who's very insecure right because it's like once you tell somebody something you want them to take it and yeah sometimes it hurts to tell someone you know i need more or you know you're doing this and it affects me in this way right whatever you communicate to this person it kind of set this person off right with the king of coin in reverse i think it made them feel unstable but it was an instability within them right like they were insecure within so you said something to them and i feel like they yeah they took it very like to heart right like i think with this four of cups in reverse right this is someone who takes you see how they're looking at the mirror but they like what they see i feel like this person looked in the mirror and saw what it was that you were saying right and then they kind of ran away you know what i mean it's like they they got out of there as quickly as possible because it was like ah uh, you're they felt like you were attacking them but i don't think you were attacking them i think you were just coming from a place of like true true friendship right and it, again you were always coming from a place of love and now i think this person is seeing that right this person sees that now and i feel that they're wanting to kind of change their direction this is like a course correction for this person you see how we have this is the ten of swords but what's interesting it's a it's a door in this deck it's like a portal right and if you i feel like it's once you go through it you can't come back so i feel like once they yeah it's like once they experience this love with you they can't really go to another person and i feel like they tried to go to someone else and now they're dealing with that and i feel like that's the energy for a lot of these masculine energies right now like i've been getting a lot of reads about people kind of dealing with the mess that they created when they were in shadow or in ego right and now that the light is here right and now that the light has come and it's the end they want to start something new but it doesn't resonate with them anymore where, where they have been right they're going somewhere different now they don't feel the same way as they felt before because they're starting to realize shit but again this took a really long time for this person to realize that so it took them a long time to realize like everything that you were saying came from a place of love right everything that you were trying to tell them came from a place like of deep affection and even though again maybe gemini we don't communicate in the best ways sometimes you know what i'm saying like I think you did it in your best way <laughs> you know what i mean i don't think you ever did it to be malicious i think you just that's the way you speak you know and i think it kind of hurt this person's feelings in a sense and it caused them to feel insecure and i think that kind of started the whole problem in the first place right but you were just being honest right you were just being i feel like you were just saying what you needed but yeah again this person is coming into the wisdom of knowing okay i get that now what well, i kind of see things differently now i get it and I think they're seeing you differently. But what's interesting is like, what's really helping them see who you are. That's what I'm getting. What's really, really helping them see. And I feel like this is straight karma, right? When, when it's like, you had someone great and then you might've detached from them thinking that there was better, right? And then instead of getting like someone in cup energy you're vibing low and you you get a karmic and that's what this person has kind of produced from the cycle so i feel like if you've been apart from this person yes they have definitely been if this is your reading then yes they have been with someone else with this queen of wands she's clarifying herself twice <laughs> she's clarifying herself twice and I feel like this person, I think there has been an ending to the situation and this person is already setting out. For some of you, the timeline might be different and this person has yet to leave this karmic. I really feel like they already left them to be honest because we have the meditative session starting with the rose, right? And the red rose. And I feel like, again, it's an offer to someone, right? 
and I think that this person has already left this karmic, but I think this person had to learn this lesson, right? It's like they had someone who was very genuine and someone who would tell them straight up like what it was. And even though I feel sometimes Gemini's, you know, air signs, we can talk a little bit harshly, I want to say. People can see us as harsh. I feel like, you know, imagine talking to someone who's like not in a great state or someone who's very insecure you kind of push a button for this person and it opens a door to insecurity even further, right? So if this person's already insecure and you say something about, I don't know, it's like you say, oh, you have food in your teeth and they're like, oh my God, why would you say that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like this person was just overly sensitive about what was said. They didn't really take it as like, a, they didn't take it and like learn from it. They took it and put it inside and was like, oh, I'm not good enough and like left. That's what I feel. I feel like this person was, was very insecure. But now they're getting someone who didn't really care. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this person genuinely cares the way that this, like the way that Gemini cared about this person, the way they communicate about things is, I feel like there's someone who communicates to the masculine, you know, what they need, but it's not because they have any genuine care for the masculine. It's because they, <laughs> they just kind of want right like it's a karmic so this karmic is sent to teach this person a lesson and it's a lesson about it's a lesson between the queen of wand and the queen of cup right it's a lesson between i feel like who has your back and who really doesn't to be honest because i feel like now look at the energy that the karmic is putting the masculine in right with the four of coins the five of swords the nine of swords the five of coins so yeah i feel like the cycle with this karmic I think, I think that there's another thing here too. I feel like they might not have wanted to come in saying anything about the karmic. I feel like they might want to kind of keep that a secret. Maybe some of you already know, uh, but I feel like they don't want to say it because they feel that you're going to judge them or you're going to think less of them for who they've been with. So I feel like they might have wanted to come in in the past. Like I think like an idea for some of them might be like, oh, I'm not going to say anything about this person. Right, like I'm gonna come to them, but I'm not gonna really tell them about this past cycle. Because again, they want victory when they come and approach you. They don't want to have to like, they don't want there to be a problem, do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, then I have to tell them about this person and all the dumb shit that like I did with this person, you know what I mean? And like the fact that I couldn't, rec like they think that you, Gemini, will see them in a lower regard if you, if you know that they were with this person. Or if they tell you like stories about them and this person or they tell you the reason that they were, you know what I mean? It, it just feels that they don't even want to talk about it, but I feel like they're going to have to because I feel like you already know. I don't know. That's, that's for some of you guys. There's something about the way that this person might want to hide it. But yeah, this karmic has really let the masculine see the difference between someone who speaks in a king of swords energy, right? A king of swords yes okay again i was saying like a king of swords is very harsh at times but what they're saying is what needs to be said you know what i mean it's something that like you can't go around you have to say it and the difference between this person's the gemini's communication and this person's communication is crazy like look at the sword energy on the queen of wands side right we have the eight of swords someone who's like literally bleeding here <laughs> We have the five of swords, someone here is crying. We have the nine of swords, someone here is crying again, they're in anxiety. And then in the five of coins, this person is abandoned. So that's what I'm saying. It's like the karmic has really taught this masculine about Gemini and what they had. Yes, it was someone who did communicate what they needed and sometimes it was harsh and sometimes it wasn't what was wanting, you know, you wanna hear, but it's the truth and it's coming from a good place. And the karmic, is speaking truth i mean i don't know what she's speaking i don't know i feel like it's yeah i don't know what they're saying but it's like they anything they say just i feel like hurts this person like everybody's crying in all these pictures it's actually really sad right with this five of swords the nine of swords you can see somebody crying somebody's crying someone's abandoned yeah and i feel like there's been a death to the situation i really feel like this is over i do but again with this four of coins it could be that this karmic is still holding on to this masculine because again it's their karma it's the masculine's karma so 
they have to deal with the karma but it's to teach them a lesson right and it's to teach them the lesson i feel that they had to learn about like you basically right what they needed to learn about your relationship in the past and how maybe you know the way you guys communicated again there's something about them comparing you to the karmic and making them realize that you <laughs> gemini yeah you you came from a place of love and you never did anything to really want to hurt this person you just said what needed to be said at times even though it was hard whereas i feel like a karmic if they're trying to teach this masculine a lesson on communication and a lesson about uh this kind of energy coming from the heart and just saying things to hurt another or to kind of persecute another or to make someone anxious or to make someone hurt you know that's what this karmic feels like so it's kind of again what is karma it's it's usually just to teach us a lesson so that we can move on from it and go forward with that knowledge right and i feel like again the first card here is wisdom so i feel like this is already a past energy i feel like they've already let this person go for everyone's a different timeline so you're gonna have to but yeah i feel like gemini this is kind of what the deal is in this reading it's someone who's really seeing what they had in the past and how you always came from a place of love and this person does not and now they can decipher between the two, but it's after the fact. But again, it's karma. It's something that they needed to learn. Let's pull some advice. So it's interesting, Gemini, because I feel like this advice is not even for them but i feel like this whole reading is about them it's weird uh with segment the red lady i'm pure strength i honor my anger by giving voice to it i think that again something happened between the two of you where you had to communicate something and i think you did it maybe you were angry at the time again but everything that you said always came from a place of love it, like it it, it it was never to hurt anybody. Do you know what I'm saying? It was to make things better. It was to make things... Again, maybe some of us were in shadow at one point. But I don't think that you were communicating ever from a... Pl I feel like the way you treated this person is so different from the way this person treats them. Do you know what I'm saying? Where they are really deciphering between that. Like, even though maybe sometimes you were angry. Maybe sometimes anger got the best of you and you weren't even... You know, maybe you did get triggered a little. But I don't think it compares to what they're learning in this lesson, in this karmic lesson right now. And I think they're really seeing that. Like, the light is here. They see that now. And, again, I feel like with Turkey Spirit, give with gratitude and grace. I always feel like you are willing to give to this person. Even, even, even telling them something, communicating to them something showed the fact that you cared, right? Because if you let someone just do whatever they want and you don't, Again, there's there's a difference between the way that you communicated with this person. I don't know what you told this person. You know, I don't know what it was about. I don't know what they got mad about or insecure about. But I just feel like it was kind of dumb, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it was someone who was just too insecure to take the advice and work with the advice. It was someone who like took the took what was said and made it like a hole in, within them where it's like oh this person doesn't think i'm enough and i have to leave you know because they they don't it, again they they see where they're maybe they were insecure and i think that they want to give now to you right like reciprocate what you gave to them in the past and with the seven it's divine right uh i just really think that you did come from a place of love and i think like if this person does or does not approach you gemini i think the whole point of you knowing this reading is the fact that this person now understands are they going to be a big enough person and like come up to you and want to create a relationship with you and maybe like want some sort of forgiveness maybe you know maybe but if if they never do approach you i think it's for you to know and to have some sort of closure in the fact that you did always come from a place of love and you did communicate what was needed at the time and even though it was hard for this person to hear because they were triggered uh they're realizing it now and i do see i mean we're ending with union right so this could be just them being nostalgic about the relationship that they had and what they had and how they lost it uh, or this could be them trying to actually make some sort of change in their life where they will be like, you know what, I do want to like go back to this person and apologize. You know, it could just be a simple apology, but it's definitely, I think this person is definitely going to come up to you and approach you in some sort of way. And I wouldn't just necessarily uh, throw them off or just be like, you know, you, I don't want to talk to you because 
I think like what they have to say is actually something that you're going to want to hear. So yeah, Gemini, I really hope that this reading resonates. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.